In today's lecture, we're going to be talking about refetch on mount and use query. That's basically one of the configuration that React Query provides us, and we can make use of it. Before we dive into the lectures, please make sure you watch the previous lectures on React Query in order to follow along. Let's just dive into the lecture. So from the previous video, what we were doing is we, that we were um, we were listing some to some click event over here, and based on that, we were refetching our data from this API. Now we also have some more configurations over here. Let's just say that we, uh, I'll just get rid of this code for now. And also the refetch from here. And I'll just enable it for now. So I'll totally get rid of the enable flag over here. And uh, we have some refetch configurations over here. The first that we're going to be talking about is basically refetch on mount. which basically takes a boolean value and also a third value that's called always. So if it is set to true, for example, then what it does is when the component is mounted, then it will refetch the data for you. And if it is set to false, so it will not refetch the data for you when the component is unmounted and then remounted. So also there is a the, thir the third value is basically called always. So it means that always uh, refetch the data for us, always refetch the new data for us. Well, let's just let's take a look into these three values one by one. So first of all, I'll just uh, set it to true, the refetch on mount to true. And uh, you can see that we have the users data over here and we have the network tab over here that is opened. And I'll just make it a little bit bigger just to show you guys what is happening over here. So you can see that we are making the call to the user API over here. I'll just clean it up and I'll just go to the home page. I'll just clean it up again. And when I go to the user space, so since the user component is unmounted now, and when I go to the user's component now, you can see that it is the, the API call is made again and the data is uh, refetched again. But the thing is, the data will be refetched again if the data is basically in the stale form. It means the data is not fresh and it is in the stale form, then it will refetch the data. So for now, I'll just close it and I'll go to the home page. And when I come back to the users uh, tab, basically, or the users page, we'll make another call to the user API since the data is really in the stale form and not in the fresh form. So when it is in the fresh form, it will not uh, it will not make the call to the API. So I'll just go back to the home page and um, uh, you can see that we just have the users that are over here that is basically in, in an active state. And the second, the flag to test it basically uh, that I can add over here is basically the, uh, the stale time. So I can put a stale time over here. I can decrease the stale time over here. I'll just specify it 5,000 milliseconds. That is basically five seconds. The stale time basically specify that the data will stay in fresh state for five seconds and then that will go to a stale form. So yeah, I'll just save it. When I go to the home page and come to the users page, you can see that now we have the data is fresh. When I go back to home page and come back to user page again, you can see that there no requests are made. But now since the data is in the stale form again, when I go to the home page and come back to the user page, you can see another call is made. So, uh, and that is basically the basic difference between the, the true value and the always. We will also see how always works. So now let's try again. Uh, or when I go to the home page, for example, and come back to the users page, now that that is fresh, I'll go back to quickly to the home and then come back to the users. You can see no other new call is made. Once the data is in the stale form now, when I go to the home page and come back to the users page, you can see another user's uh, API call is made. So this is basically the, the refit on mount true value does. So now I'll get rid of this and I'll just make it false for now. A refresh on mount is basically false. So when I refresh the page, I'll just head to the home page and I'll refresh. When I go to the users page, you can see the data is fetched once and now it is in the stale form. And when I go to the home page and come back to the user page, you can see no other API calls are made because we uh, specified that it should not be refetching on mount. So that is basically the false value and it's always going to work like this. Now the third value is going to take is basically called always. So what always does is, so regardless of being in the stale form, uh, it will always make the call. So for example, uh, if I go to the home page and then come back, it's making the call. And then I go back again to the home page and come back to the users, uh, it's still taking and uh, making the call. And even if I specify the stale time over here, 
for example at this time i'll just specify 10,000 milliseconds just to make it 10 seconds and i want the data to stay in the fresh form for a long time so um i'll just refresh the page i'll go to the user you can see it's the fresh form now i'll go to the home page and come back to the users you can see still the call is made if i go back to home page and come to the user still the call is made so this is but it's basically the data is in the, the fresh form but still um, it's making the call so uh, this flags mean that always make a call regardless if that is in the state stale form or uh, in the fresh form so it will always make the call to the api on on mount basically so this is all about prefetch on mount configuration and the use query and i hope you have learned something new in this video please like and share the video subscribe to the channel and make sure to press the bell icon for the future updates and until then i'll see you in the next lecture